Hey everybody and welcome back to Simple Planes. I'm really enjoying this game. It seems to be a bit like um, Robocraft, except you build fucking flying planes and stuff. Oh my god, there's all these different like maps and stuff. Jesus, so um, you can discover shit in sandbox mode. Oh, interesting. So there's quite a lot to this game, actually. Um, oh my god, there's a World War II dogfight, there's missile training, there's bombing training, there's convoy assaults. But the first thing first, before we get any into anything crazy in that... I'm going to try and just build my own plane with a couple of guns on it and see how it does. Um, so, first things first, uh, the scroll actually works now. I managed to fix it so I can actually zoom into shit. How amazing. Um, but what I want to do is I want to turn on um, wherever it is. There's an important... Oh, my God. View, oh, nice. You can get different viewpoints. Oh, there's a zoom manually here as well if it screws up. Cool. Um, but no, what I was after is this. Show center of mass. There we go. So this is pretty important, right? The center of mass and the center of lift. Because um, it means how the plane will fly. So I need to have the wings slightly behind the center of mass. I think that was it. So let's just start building a plane so I don't screw up. So there's, always, there's a, a reg reducer block, a curve reducer block, a straight block, curve block, curve corner. So I guess you can make some really cool looking shit, a fuselage cone, so let's make a basic plane, so we've got blocks, we've got straight blocks, we're just going to put a bunch of blocks in this son of a bitch, so let's just, and it, you see that this red blob is slowly moving backwards as the back of this plane starts to weigh more, because um, the centre of mass is moving, I might even make it wider just because I can put more guns and shit on it then, let's see how it works, we'll make a, I think I'm going to make a jet plane, or try to, um, it's, it may take a couple of test flights, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It should be fun, actually. We'll get, it should be an interesting test. So I'm going to make it kind of like this, and I'm going to have angled blocks here for... Um, do I want them like that? Or do I want them sideways? I probably want them sideways, don't I? Ooh, so I can rotate this with my buttons. Oh, shit. Man, I love building stuff. I don't know what it is. It's just really satisfying. Is that correct? Seems good to me. Cool, and I, I, I should, I, there's, I can symm symmetry this shit. So I actually need, to, I only need to do one side, don't I? So the, the center of mass is there so far. Let's just look at the propellers and shit. The, the other, the other forms of um, power that we can use. So we've got propulsion. Oh god, we've got fuel tanks. I didn't even have to worry about that last time. Um, does that? I guess that. I guess you don't need it necessarily because I ran it without fuel tanks last time. Was that just a test? A fuselage inlets, so I can get... Oh my god, look at some of these jets. How big is this thing? 4,000 pounds. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to we're gonna scrap that. But that's fun to know in the future that we can have massive... Oh, you can make cars. There's car engines and stuff. Okay. So, this is a vertical takeoff and landing engine. We don't need one of them. Oh my god, some of these things are huge. Alright. We're going to go for a... Oh my god. We've done propellers. Let's go for a goddamn blasto jet. Screw it, right? Oh, yeah. So that's the center of thrust out the side there. Um, now, as you can see, the center of mass has moved back a bit. So what if I put the center of two massive jet engines like that at the back? I can see this going terribly, terribly wrong, but we're going to roll with it. Um, so you can see the center of mass is moving further and further back, which means the wings need to like be like more like here. But I'm going to make it like a jet plane, so that's kind of what I want. Um... I can choose a different cockpit if I want. Cockpit. I can go for a sleek cockpit, a historic cockpit. Um, or just a regular. Let's go for a sleek one. All right, let's get rid of this. Boom. We'll go for a sleek cockpit, like a proper fighter jet cockpit. Yeah, we'll delete this thing if I can. What's, why can't I not delete it now? Oh, because it's accounting that that's my actual cockpit. Right. Apparently, I have to have that on. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Okay. okay whatever. Weird that you can't actually add another cockpit. Anyway, this is looking kind of cool. So I can mirror this in a second and it'll add the weight and stuff up. Um, so, oh, what the fuck did I do here? Oh, right, I haven't mirrored it yet. Duh. So I'm we're just working on this side. Okay. So we want to sort the front out. So let's go for some more structural. So we'll add some random shit at the front. Just some blocks to try and bring that center of gravity a little bit further forward. Although we kind of just want a nose cone because it's going to be like a jet fire. So I'm just going to have a nose cone. This is going to be the weirdest fucking plane, but we'll, we'll try it. I'm going to have some missiles at the front. As well. Oh, it doesn't really fit, does it? We're going to have to have one one block and then a nose cone, I think, to make it look right. That's better. It looks kind of like a fighter, right? Um, 
So then we want wings. This is totally not going to fly, is it? Oh, also we need an intake. We need an in intake for um, an air intake for the jet, right? So we're going to put an intake like underneath, maybe? It doesn't actually have to be attached, apparently. So a fuselage inlet. So I guess that can go in the fuselage, but I'm going to put one underneath, I think. Oh my god, these are pretty big. Um, so let's have a look. So let's get one underneath. Oh, I can't put them underneath. I need a few. I guess I have to use the fuselage one to actually get it. Oh my god, this is monstrous. Wait, right, so it's actually part of the plane then. Oh, I see. So it's for actually to snap in place. It's got a. That could work. That's a big inlet, though, isn't it? But this could work. So if I delete some of these blocks, right, get them, get rid of them, like so. Fuck, let's just delete all of that crap, and we'll just put a giant fucking rocket booster ship. Why can I not go back this way? No, right, it needs to be rotated around the other. Oh shh, this looks just wrong, but we're gonna try it. Oh fuck, what have I done? I've made a monstrosity. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. That seems legit, right? This seems totally fine. Oh, that looks cool, actually, doesn't it? So apparently this will give air and stuff to my thing, right? Let's just move these blocks back in. And, you know, we'll just tidy this up a little bit again. This this, this looks like it could totally be fine. <laughs> the giant fucking... This looks like this plane's going to fly just fine. It's no issues at all. So let's go back and let's put some more blocks back on. There we go. We'll attach these to the jets. So apparently the jets will just be fine. Actually, I need to, that's going to be sim sim symmetricalized. So I need to do one side, actually. Um, I kind of want a triangle block, like, here. But the other way around, so it, like, faces the back of the cockpit. So let's rotate that round with, um, not R. Not E either. Q. Oh, we all know how good I was at designing ships and space engineers. So this is going to be a masterpiece. Look at this thing. Right, now it's time for the wings. So, I need a lot of wings, actually. I'm going to get another solid block, actually, at the back here. So I can get... Because I think I want, like, the propeller thing, like, at the back here. Maybe... Not the propeller thing. You know what I mean? The the VTOL... I don't even know. Wings. Right, let's just go for... So we need a vertical stabilizer. We'll just put this bad boy on, right, for now. That looks okay there. I might even want to move it back a little bit. Like, maybe even one block further. So let's build another block. Um... Because I would like to move this back one more. Like that. That seems okay. Maybe it needs to be one higher, actually. It looks a bit low down there, doesn't it? So let's put it up a bit as well. So let's just get uh, some more blocks. Like this. And we'll chuck it up on that. Alright. So we'll stick this up here. Boom. This looks bizarre, but I think it will work. And we'll put an angled block here. Bang. Alright. So that's the center of thrust, which is more forgiving than the center of mass. And then we've got the center of lift as well, which is here right now, because we haven't got any wings. Um, but we shall have wings soon. Oh, I broke that triangle bit off the front as well. Oh, wait, I was going to... Oh, I didn't break it off. I haven't done it yet, of course. I keep forgetting I'm only on one side. Right, so we're focusing on this left side. This does look weird, but I think it'll work somehow. I, I like how it's like... Oh, no. I don't even know if this is the right way around. I think it is. I think the air gets goes in here and then uh, gets sent to the jet engines to, you know, give them propulsion. This thing's going to go very quickly, I have a feeling. So, I'm excited. Right, so, the primary wing, the long pylon, I can't remember. I can also adjust the shape of this thing, can't I? The wings to make um, a longer version of a pylon, but nothing's but a primary wing, right. We want one of these things. And I probably want to adjust the shape, right? So, there we go. So, the center of lift is currently slightly in front of the center of mass, which we don't want. We want the center of lift to be slightly behind the center of mass. And I can adjust these wings to tweak that. So I'm going to adjust the wings because it seems like the thing to do. Uh, so if I click on the, where we go, wings. Edit wing shape. All right, so I can adjust it to... So now, if I make it a bit longer and a bit tapered in. Okay, so that's even. So I want it actually... Um, if, I move the, if I move this, this wing looks actually quite pretty good shape. So if I move this wing back a little bit, it should do the job, I think. That looks good to me. That's a pretty basic wing. All right, so currently they're even. So this needs actually, the center of lift needs to be slightly behind, which I can do. All right, done. So we'll move this wing 
back a look. That looks perfect. All right, so then we've just got to add the landing gear. This actually looks like it might fucking work. I'm doing it all sciencey and shit, keeping an eye on this stuff. So, landing gear. Um, all right, landing gear. Boom. We're going to have um, just the large retractable landing gear at the front, maybe? Or just retractable landing We'll just have retractable landing gear, sure. Why not? Oh, yeah. This is looking beautiful. I'm liking how this looks. That looks, that's totally in the wrong place. Get out of the way. All right, there we go. It needs to be like under the under here, right? That looks more like it. And then we'll have two at the back. Or oh, yeah. We'll, so we'll do this. That's the wrong way around for starters, but we can rotate that with and Q nope. There we go. That looks good to me. Right, so this looks like it may actually fly. So then we're gonna go to mirror mode. Oh, I'm excited about this, right? Mirror aircraft. Mirror. Fuck! Seriously, it just mirrored the wrong... S it unmirrored it. Hang on, can I undo that? And undo again. Alright, why did it not mirror it? And let's chill. What the hell happened there? Right. For some reason, it mirrored the wrong side. Oh, so you have to... I, I built... Oh, right. Oh, sorry. Source right side. I want to source left side. Oh, okay, there we go. Oof, mirror. Oh, there we go. All right, we've got ourselves our first plane. Does this look okay? This doesn't look like it's going to fly, but we'll have to try it out, all right? I can paint it as well. All right, let's go for red and... Oh, man, you can just give it a prime, like a set color. Military. Green slime. I like that. What else is there? Monochrome. Orange and black. Custom. All right, we're going to go for... The green slime. All right. Oh, God. Let's see if this thing flies. It looks pretty cool. I have no idea how fast it's going to go, if it's going to take off or whatever. But we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. All right. So, throttle. Oh, my God. Okay. Here we go. Look at the jet engines firing. If this thing actually takes off, I'll be staggered. So, wait till about 100 miles an hour. I can take off. Um, oh. I didn't put any riders on it. So, I can't. Oh, no. I did. I did. But it doesn't want to take... Oh! Okay. Why does it not want to take off? Is there not enough thrust? I can turn, but it just doesn't want to pull up. Have I missed something? I think I've drastically missed something. Okay. <laughs> it's going very quick, but it does not want to pull up. Um, shit, why is it not pulling up? What have I missed here? The engines have plenty of thrust, but it just doesn't want to... Okay, it's gliding now, but I can't actually pull up, so I'm going to crash... Straight into the ground. Oh, my God. Boom. I like that it follows the cockpit. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that was a disaster. I mean, it could have... It went not as bad as I thought, right? So, um... How do I get off? I'm dead. I want to get back to my plane. Uh... Oh, location... Um, settings. Nope. How do I go back? Exit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that didn't work. Why did that not work? So these riders didn't didn't want to do that. Right, let's have a look. For some reason, so it could fly. It just would not pull up. Um, horizontal. Oh, yeah. I kind of missed some important bits, didn't I? Like these. <laughs> I missed the horizontal stabilizers. Whoops. I right, let's get two of these on then see if that works. That, I think that's why I didn't take off, guys. Right, let's try it now. Because it seemed pretty good up to that point until I was like, oh, shit, I'm not actually... Yeah, that's quite a big thing that I missed there. 100% right, thrust. Right, so now I should be able to take off right because this is actually what helps me take off, not these things. I might need to make these bigger as well because it might not have enough thrust to pull me up. These don't look like they're doing anything. Oh, no, we're up. Oh, my God, we're away. I've actually made a working fucking plane. And it flies... Pretty well. Holy shit. Oh, I'm well happy with this. Look at this. Right, let's have a look around the world. Let's have a scout around. Now we've got a pretty quick plane. We've got eating for fuel, fuel pretty fast though, but we'll keep flying until it runs out of fuel or until we get bored or crash. This is good. So I know there's a thing if you get up to Mach 2, you get an achievement. Let's try and break the sound barrier in this thing. 
Oh man, this is, oh, I'm super excited about this. I can't believe I got it to work like pretty quickly. I hope you guys are impressed with my knowledge of aeroplanes and now I figured out how to make them work. I, built, I did build some in Sp Kerbal Space Program and it, the game seriously punishes you if you don't um, build the planes properly in that. So I kind of learned a bit. And this, I kind of like the models and stuff. I'm going to have to totally download some planes and stuff as well. But damn, this thing works. So we are losing altitude if we're not pulling up. That's the only issue. Let's pull up into like this. There we go. Now we're getting right. Let's try and get see how high we can get and stuff on a tank of fuel and that. I know there's a bunch of a chip. Oh, there's a boat out there. Okay, that's interesting. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a valley. I want. I just want to see what's over this way. So how, how high can we get in this thing before we stall it? 82% fuel. It is eating fuel. So I guess that's why you need fuel tank stuff. This is nice though. Oh, I'm well happy with this. Oh, there's a there's another runway thing over there. On like an island. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff actually. Well, it seems to sort of end. It's, so we're just like on an island, right? 7,000 feet up. It doesn't go particularly fast. Maybe I can add more thrust to it. I could probably add more thrust. I don't know how dangerous that would be. But maybe we could add some underneath the wings, right? To get even more power. So there's an island over there. There's a boat over that way. Right, I'm going to see how... Oh, hang on. I swear I just saw something over in the distance. There, look, straight ahead. There's a boat over that way as well. But we're going to pull up. I wonder if we get anything from going for 10,000 feet, maybe. I'm going to pull up as high as I can. I'm going to nosedive and see how quick I can go. Right, so we're just going to pull up and climb and climb and climb. And this is... I like this. So there's all kinds of race courses and stuff and dog fights. I'm not quite at that stage yet where I want to do that, but man, I this flies pretty well. So I'm, I'm tempted, very tempted to add um, more boosters to it so it goes even faster and see what happens. Cause it's, it's pretty stable, right? It flies pretty solidly. There's a there's definitely a boat over that way. 16,000 feet. Oh, let's try to get to like 20,000 feet and then we'll, then, we'll, then we'll nosedive and see how quickly we go just for fun. Just for funsies. 20,000 feet. Almost there. And we're there. Alright. We're gaining speed. I guess it's the... Maybe it's actually atmospheric shit in it. So it actually... You can gain speed as the atmosphere gets thinner. That's really cool. Oh shit. There's more boats and stuff like that. So there's, there's definitely barges out here that maybe you meant allow... Is that like an aircraft carrier out that way? It looks like it might be. If you can see that over there where my mouse is now. I don't even know if you can see the mouse in this. But... Alright. So let's go down towards these boats and see what happens. Maybe we have to blow them up or something. Oh god, sorry. Now we're going full speed. We're losing altitude incredibly quickly. 500. Do we get the sonic boom if we go past a thousand? Oh, we're, 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 I guess there's no aerodynamics enough in this to get me past Mach 1. Oh, yeah. I'm not going past the sound limit. There's no way. It's like 700 and something miles an hour. Oh shit, we're really... It's kind of hard to tell how quickly you're losing out. I was going to crash straight into these, this ship here. I'm going to probably completely miss it, but I'm going to throttle down. We're going to glide into it at a couple hundred miles an hour. Oh, now I can hear the music coming in. Oh, is this an aircraft? Oh my god, it's like a destroyer and a battleship. Oh, it is an aircraft carrier. Oh shit, did you get an achievement for like landing on it or whatever? Oh my god, let's try this shit. All right, we're turning off. This is not going to happen, is it? But, holy crap, this is this is awesome. So it's like a just And there's another one out there. Oh, that's another island. Oh shit. Throttle up, throttle up. Throw down. Oh, we just missed it. Oh. Ah, crap. That was kind of close, though. Oh, that was good. I really enjoyed that. Okay. Right, so this thing flies. We know that much. So, what we're going to do now is add more rockets. Because what could possibly go wrong if we add even more power, right? And we can add some fuel tanks to work if we need to, but it seems to be doing just fine right now. So, I used it, the Blasto J15, right? So let's add a Blasto J50. Was it use a, did I use a J50? Oh, I, did, oh, I can just add more. I can just strap more to it. Now I need to make sure this doesn't affect my center of gravity too much. So I'm going to turn that on because that's pretty important, right? So uh, you see now it's put my center of gravity back. So I need to have these further forward. It's like at the end of the wings. Uh, I need to have them near the front, I think. Okay, I also didn't put my landing gear down, which is a mistake. I can put one here. All right, so it's going to put some center of thrust underneath. Um, if if I add some blocks, actually, right, so like this. 
and just one maybe can it clip onto one and it can sort of hang under the wing it can don't know how stable this is going to be but i kind of want to try that sure why not add even more thrust right can't hurt and the gain the center of mass is still below the center of gravity so if i um i like how the center of gravity's gone off to one side i guess that makes sense though so then i'm just going to mirror it again mirror the aircraft from the left side boom oh my god We've made a monster. The landing gear probably doesn't even work anymore. Yeah, I need to uh, um, put a block under this to make the landing gear work. And the landing gear's back here. Here we go. Attach that. Really doesn't look very stable, does it? Let's get another block, actually, as well. To go inside there. Not, not there. I like how you can pretty much attach anything to anything, though. Which is nice. I think it needs to go... There we go. Perfect. And then we need to do the same with the front. Because obviously this isn't actually going to be attached to anything much oh shit what the fuck is this nope that's not it here why can't i attach one under the cockpit oh, i can there we go and another one this is very not aerodynamic but whatever it'd be interesting if aerodynamic i'm, I'm sure there's be some kind of aerodynamic penalties to what i'm doing here right i mean look at this <laughs> it's just a night and let's just rotate this round I mean, look at it. It's it's hideous. But we're going to see if it works. God damn it. Right, so I need to mirror again because it's not quite... Mirror the aircraft from the left side. Mirror, boom. This thing looks crazy as fuck now. Oh, I didn't really plan to have four jets, but I want it to go really fast. So let's see how it goes. Um, oh, God. We've got a lot more thrust this time, right? Oh, God, we're instantly going way quicker. I'm building up speed. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is going way faster. Oh, my God. It's going literally twice as fast. 400 miles an hour already. We're going to head straight out for that aircraft carrier. We're cruising at 500. Oh, shit. It's, it turns pretty quick now. Right, so 400 miles an hour. Let's see how fast we can go. 500. 526. The quest for speed is real. Oh, man. Okay, this is this is good. I like this. So it's still just a stable. It turns pretty nicely. It doesn't pull up very well, though. I think I might need these to be a bit bigger. And I think I might need to add some um, missiles to it. But I want to see what this island thing over here is. As we're on the... Oh, God. Look how fast it's burning through the fuel. <laughs> Holy shit. I did not realise. Oh, my God. It's eating the fuel up. I need like to put fuel tanks on it somewhere. Look at that. 50% under already oh my god look at it from the front it looks so awful but amazing at the same time all right we might not even make it to the island i think we're going to run out of fuel before we get look how much quicker we're head traveling though yeah the fuel's going to totally run out and we're just going to be like free falling this shit oh man oh we're so close to the island i want to see what it is i think we unlock a level if we find it come on we're pretty oh we're never going to get there 20 percent fuel left nah there's not chances there Ah, oh, crap. 17%. 15%. Oh, this isn't sweet, though. Oh, man. 10% fuel. Oh, this is like a little... There must be loads of shit hidden out on other islands. Like, dotted around that you have to try and get to. Oh, look. There's another land mass over there. So, I guess you have to fly to different things. Yeah, we're, we're losing speed pretty quick. We're falling out of the sky. We're falling out of the sky. There's not much we can do about this, but I want to see if I can crash into this island. So there's a fucking massive landmass over there. You can see that just off in the distance. 5,000 feet. Yeah, we're just cruising now. Look at this fall gracefully. It does kind of look like a giant car, doesn't it? This flying. I, I mean, yeah, we're, I'm pulling up the best I can, but without this forward velocity, we're just nose diving here. I'm. Oh shit! You see, this isn't gonna. This is not gonna work. The wings don't provide any lift. It appears. Uh, the wings are nowhere near big enough to provide enough lift, I think. So, yeah, that's a problem. I uh, will just dive straight into the ocean. Okay, that was an interesting test, right? So we need more fuel. I think the wings need to be bigger and a bunch of other stuff. But this has been a successful first mission. What should I call this bad boy? The Green Goblin. I think that's even what the paint job was called. That's why I've gone for it. Green like the Green Goblin. I'm going to call it the Green Goblin. So we might come back and make the Green Goblin Mark II next time. Add some more, um, just adjust it and change some stuff up. Maybe try and find some other bits around. 
but yeah, I think I think for one it needs to be a bit longer, or maybe it doesn't need to be longer. I don't know. I just think I need to re retweak the tweak the design. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.